everyone, it's Brenda. I'm gonna walk you through some yoga for the hips today. Notice you'll need a Gaiam yoga block. Most place, most um, sports stores carry them, but I got mine at Target, they're about $10. And I use it all the time. Let's begin with a short meditation. I'm gonna sit on mine to bring my hips up a little bit. I've been doing lots of running, training for a marathon this month for this last six months. And my hips are kind of tight, so I'm gonna sit on my, just get comfortable. Close the eyes. Bring your focus into the body. Begin to slow the breath, calm the breath. Begin to focus on the breath. Do a scan of the body quick just to see where there's any stress or tension, any areas that need to be worked. Give those areas gratitude for talking to you or allowing you to notice them. And then return your thoughts back to the breath. I have just a short meditation here for you. Just a Little reading. Pausing in the rush and chaos of my day, I stop and I breathe deeply. I close my eyes. I bring my focus right into the present. Mindful of exactly where I am right at this moment. Here, I rest for a while, just breathing. I am totally present and aware of my surroundings. My focus is laser sharp and my mind is clear. It is from this place of presence I finish my day with clarity and calm. I finish my day with clarity and calm, noticing that through the breath and pause. You can bring clarity and calm into the day. Affirmation for today could be, I am clear, I am calm, I find clarity, any of those things. If you have something else that you would like to bring into your practice today. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. As you release any unbeneficial energy that is not serving you right here in this time and this space. And gently begin to blink your eyes open. And we're going to stand up. Coming your block over to the side. I keep it handy because we'll be using it. We're going to get into what's called the hip toggle. I like to call them hip toggles. But we take our feet and widen them, wider than the hips, almost so that you look like you have a triangle. We're gonna turn our right toe, that's our left toe, turn your left toe out, and then our right foot's gonna come in at about a 45 degree angle. Hips are in line, or excuse me, heels are in line. And then find that hip crease, where you move from when you, if you were to bend your knee, where that hip comes from. <clears throat> Gently begin to move the hips from side to side, leaving the low back. So we're not finding movement from the low back, we're finding movement from the hips, toggling the hips. You'll notice you'll feel some tension or you might notice the, the inside of the leg and the front and the back leg. But noticing it's probably not super comfortable and it might be an awkward position, but just Noticing then the hips are straight out forward, okay? And gently toggling back and forth, opening up, finding strength in a new movement, finding flexibility in a new movement. And then as you're poking that hip out, we're gonna start to bend from the side into a triangle pose. You can rest your hand 
on your thigh. You can rest your hand on your shin. Even on the block, you can take the block and rest your hand on the block. If that's too deep, just come back to the shin. I'm gonna keep mine on my shin today. With all these miles, my hips are getting tight. I'm gonna open them up. Finding that rotation in the shoulders. Giving a nice long spine. If you need to, look up towards the ceiling. If that's too deep for you, just keep the head in neutral space. And gently on an inhale, begin to rise up. We're going to shift the feet. Right toe goes out, left toe goes out straight. Left toe comes in at a 45 degree angle and gently begin to toggle the hips. This might feel awkward, but putting the hands there gives the body a place to move from. So it knows where you're expecting it to move from. Moving from those hips, nice and slow. It's not a fast motion. If you want to move from the, the body might want to start moving from the shoulders. Try to keep those shoulders nice and calm and level. And then as the hip pokes back or moves back, we're going to drop the body forward, or not forward, to the side, excuse me. Resting the hand on the thigh, maybe on the shin. Rotating those hip, the shoulders, and then the head follows. Pausing here for a moment, a few breaths. The inhale and the exhale. Remembering your affirmation, I am. Deep inhale, rising up. Then we're going to come into goddess. So bringing the legs parallel to, or the feet parallel to one another. <clears throat> we're going to find a bend in the knees and placing the hands on the knees. Nice straight arms. We're going to do twisted goddess. I think I'm going to inch my feet out a little bit. I need a little bit more space. Finding nice straight arms. Pressing into the right and shifting that right shoulder over to the left, getting a nice deep twist. Head to follow. You don't want to be turning the opposite way. You want to be keeping that spine in alignment. Then a deep inhale, rise up. Exhale, pressing the left hand into the left knee. Left shoulder goes over to the right. Getting a nice deep twist. If the legs are getting tired, you should almost feel like you're sitting into a chair with the sits bones. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, twisting over to the right, twisting over to the left. The right shoulder comes over to the left. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twisting over to the right. Left shoulder comes to the right. Getting a nice deep twist in that low back, in the mid back, in the spine, in the hips. Inhale, and exhale over to the left. Inhale, up, exhale over to the right. Inhale, and we're going to press into both knees at the same time. Kind of gently shift from side to side. You shouldn't have a lot of tension in the legs, but you're opening up the adductors. You're opening up the inside of the legs. This is probably one of the only things where you're going to shrug the shoulders a little bit. Gently rocking from side to side. Opening up the inside and gently stand. Keeping the feet in parallel. We're going to hinge at the hips coming forward. Shining that heart. Maybe take your block, rest your hands on your block. But keeping that spine nice and long, extending through the crown of the head and reaching back through the sits bones, keeping the spine nice and long. As we take a nice deep inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna move the body over to the left, opening up the inside of the leg. Inhale, rising up, walking through, exhale over to the right. Noticing the inside of the leg again. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale over to the left. And breathe. Just your normal breath. Inhale, rising up through the middle. Exhale, moving over to the right. Notice the left foot is all, the whole foot is on the ground. So we're not coming to the side, we're keeping the whole foot on the ground. Inhale through the center, exhale over to the left. One more time on this side. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Last time on this side. Inhale to center. And walking with feet, coming up, rising up. We're going to come to cat and cow. Meet me on all fours. <coughs> Excuse me. Hands are directly below the shoulders. Knees are directly below the hips. Finding length through the crown of the head and length through the sit through the six bones. Feel like you're being pulled in two directions. As you inhale, rise up the crown of the head. Rise up the sits bones. Notice the sits bones separate just a little bit as you rise up. Exhale, round down. Notice the sits bones coming together. Notice the head. Notice the mid back rising up. Notice the belly button tucking in. Inhale, rising up. Notice the sits bones being drawn apart as you rise up. Exhale, round it down. Notice the sits bones coming together. Head drops. The neck is nice and soft. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, round down. Inhale, come to neutral space. Then we're gonna do what I like to call the hula hoop hips. Moving from the hips, we're going to pretend like we have a hula hoop on, but very slowly, just moving the hips. Low back will follow just because the hips are moving. Shoulders are not moving anywhere. About six or seven circles, and then rotate the other way, not holding your breath, moving your breath. Inhale and exhale. Notice if there's a space that the body doesn't want to go to, rotate through that space. Allow the body to be safe in that space. One of the affirmations that I really love, and I think it's so much fun, it's called, it says, hip, 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 hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Now we're gonna go into wild things. So just move around, whatever feels good to you. Move in that space through cat and cow. Maybe you feel like your right hip is a little tight and move over to the right. Maybe your left hip feels tight and move over to the left. Maybe close your eyes when you're doing this so you can really feel the body. Nobody's watching. Just move. Hip, hip, hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Hip, hip, hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. You might notice some popping and cracking, that's okay. Then come back to neutral space and notice. Notice the body. Take a breath here, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale, and as you exhale, walk the hands all the way out, coming to the belly. Coming up into sphinx position. Elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Hands are out nice and wide for support. Feet are back behind you. Noticing the pubic bone. It's not pressing into the floor, but it's on the floor. Notice the low back. Notice the belly button. Release the belly button. Release tension in that area. As you release tension in that area, notice that low back. getting stronger. Maybe, maybe you sit a lot and you're hunched over and you've created maybe some bulging discs. Be careful if this is a bulging disc one and this causes you pain. If this causes you pain, walk your arms out. 
a little bit or walk them out all the way. And you can lay in this position. If it's available to you, you can begin to press into the hands and gently and slowly straighten the arms and exhale, bring it down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, elbows straighten and rise. Exhale, they come to the floor. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, bring it down. And one more time. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, come down. Then gently walk the hands out in front of you. Turning the head to the right, pause. Breathe your normal breath, but notice the breath in the back of the body. We're laying on our chest, we're laying on our stomach. Use the breath to open up the, the back of the body, the interstitial tissue in between the ribs, the tissue in between the ribs, it's hard, but there's still tissue there, there's muscles there. Notice. As you breathe, maybe as you inhale, Notice your affirmation, I am, and I release. Gently turn the head to the left. And again, remember the affirmation, I am, I release. A few breaths in this space. Notice the back of the body. On your next inhale, begin to bring the arms back underneath the shoulders, pushing through tabletop position. <clears throat> tabletop position. And with the tabletop position, we're going to come to our block. Sit on our block next. I'm going to scoot back so I can get the whole view. Bringing the feet together, out nice and wide. This is called turtle, not butterfly. Butterfly is way in here. We don't want that. We want to bring it into turtle. We're going to crawl into our turtle shells. Making sure that your sits bones are on that block. Hips are nice and square. Pretend the hips are a bucket. We don't want the hips tipped backwards and we don't want them tipped forwards. We want them in a neutral space. Notice where you hinge at the hips. Come forward from the hips. Find that nice long spine through the crown of the head, through the sits bones, keeping that nice long spine. Begin to come forward, shining the heart, the heart space forward. Then, tuck your arms, palms up underneath your legs. Once you get to a space where that's all the further you're going to Hinge forward. You can allow the head to come down slowly and act as a weight. So taking all that stress, no change in the hips, just a change in the neck. Allow the head to become heavy like a bowling ball. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, notice how it deepens that that stretch in the hips, in the low back, on the insides of the legs. Now, with the arms, the arms are just hanging out. They are not pulling you, just hanging out. Inhale. And exhale. Notice how it deepens. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. On your next inhale, begin to rise up, untucking the arms, bringing the knees back together, legs out straight in front of you. 
Bring your hands to the side for some support and gently windshield wiper the, the toes or the feet side to side. Removing any energy that maybe got stuck in that hip area. We're taking that ball and socket and we're moving it around in there. Keeping it nice and keeping the moisture, the, the fluid that keeps the joints healthy, moving around in that area. And gently widen the legs coming into a straddle position. This is one of those positions that I struggle with. In order to keep a nice tall spine, I don't come forward very far. So if you're not coming forward far, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're opening up the inside of the legs. You can bring the legs together a little bit if you'd like. If that helps you, if that makes it feel better. I like to open them up a little bit. Create that nice tall spine. And then gently walk forward. We're not pulling ourselves forward, but we're gently moving forward. Not like this, but through that tall spine. Sometimes I like to have my legs hand out here, but this is it for me. This is about where I stop moving forward. Gently allow the head to come forward, creating space. Release any tension in the hips, that will help. Keep that nice tall spine. You can bend the head forward. Taking a few breaths here, that inhale and the exhale. If you are able to come forward, and bring your chest on the floor. That is where you need to be. That is not where I need to be. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, reach over and grab your knees. Help them up. Back to the center. Bringing your feet in front of you again. This time you can take that walk out. Press your hands into the floor just a little bit. Lifting those sits bones up off the floor. And windshield wiper. Notice how good it feels on the inside of the leg or in deep, deep, deep into that hip. This windshield wiper for a little bit. Remember with that straddle position, focus on hinging at the hips. The other thing I like to do is sometimes I'll do the straddle up the wall instead of on a block. So that's an option for that one as well. Then we're gonna to come to our back. <coughs> Excuse me. Feet are planted on the floor, knees are bent. I'm gonna take our one leg. We're gonna take the right leg up in the air. Cross the ankle over to the left knee. Draw that left knee up. Interlace the fingers behind the knee. Right hand comes in between the right and the left leg in that little window that you created. Press that right elbow against the right knee. Opening up the hips. Keeping the hips square so if that right hip is really popped up, draw it back down towards the floor. Pressing into the, into the knee drawing that left knee towards the chest. Then gently rocking from side to side. Just slowly noticing the space. And coming to neutral space. Release that left leg. We're going to take that right knee, bring it to the chest. Straighten the left leg. Give that right knee a big hug. Now we're going to allow the right knee to come on the outside of the shoulder, raising that heel up towards the ceiling. Coming into prone pigeon, opening up the back side of the leg, opening up the hip. If this is too much and you, your, your hips are not ready for this yet, just go ahead and bend the knee. And then just gradually walk out that knee till it's straight. I like to place my opposite or my left hand on my left hip to remind it to stay down towards the ground, kind of pinned down there. 
Close the eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. As you're inhaling and exhaling, remember your affirmation. Hip, hip, hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Yours might look different than that, but that one's mine for today. Hip, hip, hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Hip, hip, hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Constantly repeating that affirmation to yourself. Gently bring the knee in, hug the knee. Bring both knees up, hug both knees. Gently walking from side to side. Grabbing your block, you lay back down, keeping your block handy at all time. I just moved mine so you could see what I was doing. Gently rocking from side to side. Release that right leg, or left leg, excuse me, the left foot. Keep it bent. Then we're going to narrowly cross our knees. We're going to press into the floor with our left leg, lift our hips up, and shift them over to the right side a little bit. Then we're going to drop the knees over to the left side. So coming into a twist, taking that block, whether you want it on the high, the middle, or the low level, and resting our knees on that, opening up the arms or the shoulders into T position. If this arm, if your right arm does not lay on the floor and it's uncomfortable, you can draw it down a little bit or you can bring the hands and rest them on the rib cage. For a little bit deeper twist in the spine, twist the head away from the knees. Notice the hips. Notice the muscles in the hips. Rest. Relax and release. Release tension around the belly button, which opens the side of the body, which creates length. Release any tension you might have in the, in the jaw, as you do that, the teeth begin to float open just a little bit. And then the tongue rests at the roof of the mouth, bringing the body into the present moment, bringing the mind into the present moment. Pausing here, taking your breaths. Remembering your affirmation. Hip hip hooray, there is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. On your next inhale, gently bring the knees back to center and cross the legs. Shift the hips back to neutral space. Draw the knees into the chest and gently rock from side to side. Release the right leg to the floor. Right foot to the floor, excuse me. Right, left ankle comes onto the right knee, draw the right knee up towards the chest. Interlace the fingers behind the knee. Left elbow comes to the knee. Sorry, my kids just got home from school. So there was a little bit of yelling. Left knee presses against the left elbow, or left elbow presses against the left knee. Then gently rocking from side to side. Opening up that entire hip. It's not a big rock, it's just a little one. I know we all like to get the biggest movement we can, but it doesn't need to be a huge movement. It just needs to be a movement from side to side. Because if you move too much, you're gonna tip over. We don't want that. Be gentle with your body. And release that right leg to the floor. Draw the left knee up. Straighten out that right leg. Opening up the hips, making sure that the hips are even. Then dropping that right knee out beyond the shoulder, lifting the heel up into the air, grabbing the side of the foot. If the, grabbing the side of the foot is not available, you can grab the ankle, you can grab behind the knee. Just opening up that leg. 
again, if this is too much and there's a big curve right through here, just bend, bend that leg, bring it into neutral. Placing that hand on the hip. Reaching with the heel towards the ceiling. So basically we're just kind of um, flexing our toes and reaching that heel. A few breaths. Hip, hip, hooray, there's joy in every day. I am balanced and free from length through the mid body. Hip, hip, hooray. There's joy in every day. I am balanced and free. Gently begin to bend that right leg, bring the left knee back in, give them a hug. Lots of hugs. Gently rocking from side to side to release any energy or anything that got stuck. Keeping that flow. Then release the feet to the floor. Right foot comes to the floor, left foot narrowly crosses. We're going to take our block, move it over to the right. We'll press into the floor with the right foot, lift the hips up, shift them over to the left. So now you're kind of on your right hip. Then drop the knees over to the right side, bringing the hands out into T position. Extending through the crown of the head, descending those sits bones, creating length. Feeling like you're being pulled in two directions. Notice I shifted because it my block because it felt better this way. Allow the belly button to sink to the spine. Release any tension in the glutes, in the adductors and the abductors, the inside and the outside. Notice that you're twisting though from the hips. The lumbar spine is following, but the biggest twists come from the hip and the ribs. Because those are our movers. Our lumbar spine is our stability. Again, if your arm, your left arm is up, and or it's uncomfortable in the shoulder, gently place the hand on the ribs. Or draw the arm down a little bit. Using your breath. Nice deep breaths. The inhale and the exhale. On your next inhale, gently rise the knees back up, uncrossing the legs, shifting the hips back to center, and giving the legs a nice big bear hug. Gently rocking from side to side. Then releasing the feet to the floor. Walking the legs out straight. Heels come out as wide as your mat. If you're not on the mat, you come out as wide as your shoulders. Gently tuck the shoulder blades. Arms lay by your sides. Coming into Shavasana. Pausing here for a few moments. Releasing any stress. Noticing the changes in the body. Soaking up our practice for today. A practice of releasing the hips. Pausing in the rush and chaos of my day, I stop and I breathe deeply. Closing my eyes, I bring my focus into the present, mindful of exactly where I am right here in this moment. Here, here is where I rest for a while, just breathing. Feeling the inhale and the exhale. Inhale and the exhale. 
I'm totally present and aware of my surroundings. My focus is laser sharp and my mind is clear. From this place, I finish my day with clarity and calm. Breath is life. Breath is spirit. Breath is peace. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your ankles, roll your wrists, bring your movement back into the body. Gently begin to deepen the breath. That inhale and the exhale. To bring life back into the body. Bend your left leg, place it on the floor, your foot on the floor. Roll over to your right side, pausing for a moment to bring awareness back into the body. And gently begin to push yourself up with your hands. Coming into a comfortable seated position bringing your hands together in prayer position. Palms are together, thumbs are resting at the heart's face. Elbows are gently hanging by your sides. Eyes are closed. Noticing the body. Giving gratitude. My soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, love, peace, beauty, and joy within you, because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Inhale deeply through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. And as you exhale, gently bow the head forward to meet the hands, to connect mind, body, and spirit. Namaste. Then gently, as you begin to come back into the room, <clears throat> open your eyes. Notice the space, notice how you feel. Notice the hips, the opening of the hips. And thank you for sharing your practice with me today.